Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in after you, Level Escape. Now this was developed by K148 Game Studio, published by Jandu Soft and is usually available for just £5.79 slash $6.99 US style. So this is a really cool and pretty fantastic looking game which plays as sort of a walking simulator with puzzles of various difficulty. Now what makes this more unique than other games of the same genre is, without a guide, you would probably need to write down uh, clues as you go along as nothing is always obvious, something very difficult may be really simple and vice versa. It's an enjoyable game, but if you're only specifically here for the achievements then ding ding ding, hello, I am here to help. Uh, now as for achievements, it's basically all story related, uh, mostly for opening safes and completing all three chapters, so no worries about missile, uh, missables or miscellaneous achievements or anything like that. And it's going to take us around 20 minutes or so to complete, so with that being said then, uh, let's do it. As always, so uh, what you're going to find is there's a whole bunch of codes in the game, you can obviously move with the left stick, move the camera with the right stick, um, you can press uh, pick up items and interact with items with the X button or square on PlayStation and you can sprint or jog slightly with the right bumper button or R1 button whichever console you're playing on but as we begin we'll get our first achievement there for playing the prologue which is uh, well that's always a nice introduction give me all of the achievements and when we begin it's a nice lovely sunny day but nobody's around so let's turn around and it's gonna tell you right here then to solve the puzzles you're gonna read Normally you'd need to read a bunch of notes, be aware of your surroundings and etc. Uh, so if you want to do it that way, of course, be my guest. Otherwise we'll head right out and we're going to have a look at this... Uh, I don't know, is that supposed to be a Renault or is that supposed to be a Dacia Sandero or something? Either way, it's a cool little family care. But not one that we're interested in. So on the street, head right and continue past the police car, the abandoned police car, past the bin... And just turn, take a little right here and you can see something flashing on the ground, that's the trash bag. So you're going to press the X button here and the X button again to pick up the key. The A button is to jump, although we don't jump over anything in the game. Press the X button to open up the door. And what you're going to do from here then is head straight outside to the back, slightly left and interact with the key code. So again, press the X button and the code for this one is 647. So press the A button to put it in, so 647. Then use the hash key the hashtag code, uh, hashtag key, sorry, to exit. And that'll get us our next achievement and we can open up the door. So remember it's 647 for that one. So head all the way down, past the bookcase, take take a right and interact with the flashing Drildo. The Drildo 3000. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's many a woman and man's best friend on lonely, lonely days. Anyway, head to the right, back through the house once you've picked up the drill, back out to the street, not to that side of the door because you'll hit yourself on the wall head right once again past the lorry and we're going to uh, go into this next little cheeky little house here on the right so uh, x button to drill do your way uh, straight through and there's going to be another cutscene unskippable of course always fun those wins Oh, it's very eerie, but not that scary, or something or other. Anyway, what we're going to do is head straight through to the right and head up the stairs now. So again, just head up and up and up. Now, this is another key code that you've got to put in. This one is 531, so uh, see where the number 5 is. Press the X button uh, or square button on it once, and you'll hear one ding. Just do it once. Go to the left, go to number 3. Again, press it just once, and then turn around, find the number one of the door, press the X button on it once, and that'll be the correct code, and it'll enter up a little mechanism thing. So we can head back down the stairs. From here, turn to the right into the sort of main kitchen area, and then right again to go outside, and head through the door once again. That's the secret barcode. Interact with the key code, key card. Key code, key card, either one to pick it up, and we can head once again straight through the house. We are done with this little bar area. Could suffer, could have stopped for a beer on the way, but never mind. Right, so now we're going to head to the opposite side, and it is the Yoshida house, and it is closed. 
Um, it's not just closed, it's a crime scene, so you can probably, you're probably aware of what's, what you're about to see. So head down through to the sort of back of the house. So run, run, sprint, sprint. And you're just going to take a nice little back garden there, it was lovely, your backyard. And as you can see, the Yoshidas have done a little bit of painting with their own blood. Yeesh. Right then, let's go Mario, let's do this. So, straight through, wow, their body got cut up bad, didn't it? Uh, go to the left and sort of into this back room here, where you're going to find another uh, safe, and the code is 2, 5, and 6. So this time it is 2, and a 5, and a 6, and hashtag united your way out of there. Open up the key. Or the safe. Bloody, why do I keep getting everything wrong? Open up the safe to get a key, and then we can head out. And again, you'll unlock another achievement there for the safe code. Then we can just head out, go to the left, back to the street once again. And then from here, we're going to head to the right, all, to, all the way to the house where we started. But this time, instead of going in the house, we're just going to interact with the blue Renault Dacia Sandero, whatever the car is meant to be. And that'll end chapter one. Toidy. If you do me do hear me uh, singing enter uh, any enter Shikari songs, I am obsessed with Shikari's new album. So uh, any enter Shikari fans? Yes, let's talk. Right. Anyway, what we're going to do as we begin, just on the right there, you can see a flashing flashlight, which you can flash your way over to and pick up the flashlight to start flashing other people's flashes. Uh, press the left bumper twice there to turn it on, and then we can head out and basically just go straight in front of us now. Where the sign is, a, it's a big pawn shop with a big hammer and spanner, the old hammer spanner. Uh, so nip straight on through and to the back. What you're going to do is interact with the computer, interact with the key code, and this time it is 583. So 583, hashtag united, and ta da! More achievements. But uh, you can uh, look behind, open up the cupboard or whatever, the metal cabinets, and pick up the shovel. And then we can head back out. I wonder what's going on. So, uh, go to your right. And then what you can see is just the uh, the, 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 the church in the distance. Once you head in, another cutscene with spooky stuff's going to go down. Of course, dark equals spooky. So if you're afraid of the dark, well, this isn't going to help. And if you're afraid of the light, well, you need to get out of that emo face, son. Uh, no, just joking. Uh, <laughs> they were the best days of my teenage life, the emo years. Right, so, going up to the altar, don't, you don't need to read the book, but you do need to interact with this left-hand side pipe once. So again, just press the X button on that left-hand side pipe once. Once that's done, head out and go to the right, uh, basically go into the back of the church to find another pipe directly in front of us, basically the first one you come across again, interact with it once, and then what you're going to do is, in the middle row, there is a grave with uh, Thompson, I believe, yes, Alejandro Thompson, so interact with this one, we're going to do some digging, um, Alejandro Thompson, not as good his name as Alejandro Garnacho, oh, viva Garnacho, Manchester United, beauty wonder kid, anyway, once you've opened up this grave, uh, there's no body, there's just a uh, remote control, creepily enough. Uh, but once that one is done, what we can do is head basically to the right hand side now, go up the ladder. All the way climbing. 
and then there was a pipe to the right of you. Might be kind of uh, tricky to see. I tried hitting the wood for some reason. As it turns out, wood didn't work. So the pipe is directly to the right of you. That should be the last one. And then to the left of where you're standing, interact with the, the door, nip yourself in. Uh, and again, like I said, these notes are always here for obviously um, finding out what to do next. But we're just going to go ahead and interact with the remote control. You should get the achievement there for the secret piano code as well. And there's somebody's leftover Chinese, so you might as well chuck that down your nugget before you nip on. So head straight off the roof to the right and go straight in front of you to the triple X shop. Oh, ho, ho, ho. right. Now it's getting interesting. Right. For the next code, then, it is going to be 243. So, 243 to enter the triple X shop. A <laughs> winky winky. Not tinky winky or stinky winky. Uh, the achievement should unlock for you here. Uh, it didn't unlock for me for whatever particular reason, but that's all good. So, head to the left, and there is a secret button here just with the uh, fake Michael Jordan uh, picture. And then you can head to the back through two doors. And we just continue to head to the back and we find a note, but to the left, more importantly, is a key that we can pick up. So this uh, chapter seems to be long, but it's not that actually long, weirdly. Uh, we can just head out to the front now, head to the left, and you can see where we're going. There's a bunch of headlights there. Oh no, I'm like a rabbit caught in a headlight. You're a bird. And my mind is a China ship. Anyway, head to the back, through the door. And to the left, and up the ladder. Sorry, see, I did get some Enter Shikari in here as well. You're a boo! And Cody Frost, she is awesome. Uh, but anyway, pick up the key off the box. It could be the key to the tank. And we've got about three or four keys that people have just lovingly left behind for us. So from here, we need to go back past the truck. There we go, and then we are going to head uh, straight in front of us now, but go around the back of the gas station. Sadly, the triple X shop didn't, uh, no, it didn't uh, inspire anything. Uh, so just interact with the generator once. You'll know it's working. You'll know it's working when it's bloody loud, mate. Interact with the gas pump, the right-hand side one. After this, interact with the car to finish chapter two. Hooray! And leave behind the triple X shop, which didn't have any triple X stuff in it. Disappointing! So here we are then, back at our workplace, the workplace of Spinny Globe Thing. We'll call it Spinny Globe X Corporation. Hank Scorpio or something. Anyway, head through, and then what you're going to do is continue on, and you're going to see a glass door open to the right. What you need to do is press the left bumper to pick up an item. So you only have to uh, pick it up once, you don't need to hold it. Go uh, back out the door, head to the left, until, and you'll see uh, two, you will see two garbage cans, or two bins. Uh, just press the left bumper to drop them in. If you can, if you were crap like me, you would have missed. But we can be crap together. So what you need to do is basically just keep putting cups and cans in until you get a not notification that says about hearing a strange noise in the kitchen. So just keep popping them in until you get that notification.
Now, it may take three cups, may take four, hey, it may take five or six. Um, but it, anyway, once you have enough, what we're going to do from here then, now we've got the notification. See, my English French is on part. It's not just on top today, isn't it? We need to go into the kitchen then, which is just to the right of where we were standing by the bins. Have a look uh, underneath, and you will see the key print part one. The key print pa 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 pa, -pa. Right, so from here, what we can do, we can head out the door and go straight in front of us with uh, to the exit sign, and we're going to head down the steps. We're going to open up the janitor's... Uh, the janitor's safe. Oh, what spooky stuff you got in here? Well, we'll find out. 435, then, is the key code. So 435 and then the hashtag United. Ta-da! Is there anything juicy? No, it's... Uh, oh, well, that uh, looks... <laughs> Don't look in the computer, that is going to get that janitor arrested. Dirty git. Anyway, uh, what we can do is just continue to head up the stairs now. So continue to head all the way up the stairs. I'm so sorry, I'm just joking. Janitors are literally the backbone of everything. Uh, keeping stuff clean, but once we head to the back, we're going to interact to print. And uh, what do we have here? Oh, it's just pictures of the janitor himself. He's Man, those nips are massive, what the hell? He's going to be making some money with those nips. Right, uh, look behind you here. Now, sometimes if the key code here that we need doesn't pick up, go to the left of it slightly like I did, then pick it up. Once that's done, we can head uh, straight through. Uh, go into the elevator here on the left. Press the up arrow twice. Well, once now and then once in just a little bit. And we're going to start getting the juicy gossip of where the hell is everyone? So, go to the director's office directly to your left. It's not this screen, but it's the uh, laptop on the desk. And um, for the final time, we're going to input the code 136. So, that's 136. Hashtag United it. So, 136. And then what you can do, look directly to your right. And there's going to be a little letter, and it'll tell you exactly what happened to us. And... We got El Poisonode. Why we got poisoned? Well, dude was jealous that we were going to take over the company because we are smart, handsome, and we've got that two-inch mighty python which everyone loves. Um, and it's the two-inch mighty python which uh, really caused the guy to just annoy us and poison us. So what we need to do now is turn the camera all the way around until you see the light, and then head towards the light. Head towards the light, Jeebus. You? Eric, Eric, you must continue. Natalie! So anyway, you're going to get one more little scene which will explain what happened to you. Um, nothing says what happens to the uh, moiderer. But anyway, that will be that then, guys and gals. 13 out of 13 achievements. That was After You Level Escape. I genuinely hope they do more games like this, because these kind of games are always enjoyable. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope the guide helped as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as well. Thank you so, so much. I will see you in the next one. Nice eyebrows, by the way, broski. Got more hair on your eyebrows than I have on my head. Um, <laughs> but I'll see you in the next one. Big old chunky nerve. I just wanted to see you one last time to tell you how much we love you. We weren't sure it would work out, but you're here. It's incredible. It's all right. I feel that I must leave. I'm sorry for everything. I love you. We love you, Aaron. <laughs>